Um, I'm really liking the defense and the offense. Uh, just everything about it, our unity as a team. Just we don't have many guys, but we're, we're here for each other. So that's what I like about this team. Um, obviously, you're a standout linebacker for this team. So tell me what makes this team defense go and what are going to be some of the standout uh, players for this team Friday defensively when we see you guys play Friday this season. Uh, the chemistry and the defense is really what's holding us together and what's going to determine most of our games. Um, some few standout players. We got uh, Jack O'Connor on the line, Cody Bickley there with me at linebacker, um, Caden Colburn, another returner. What, what yeah. characterizes this defense? Experience, physicality, speed, know-how? What is it that really stands out to I you? I think it's a mix of speed and physicality. Fast off the edges and tough up the middle. Taking a look at this Garrett team, I mean, you look at the uh, NECC Big Division, it feels, feels pretty wide open. Um, so what do you guys need to do to compete for a conference championship? And, uh, you know, four and six last year is nice, but I know you want to get more wins than that. Uh, just play the same game every week. Play hard nose like, like Garrett's known for. No, and I think the rest will take care of itself. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, big train. Uh, I like that we're actually very young. Uh, they're easy to learn, and I think we're going to get our stuff right. What is it about this offense, as a leader of this offense, um, that you've seen throughout camp, and how is that going to um, play into more productivity offensively on Friday night? Honestly, I like the diversity we have. Uh, lots of younger guys, and it's going to make our team better in the long run. Uh, for you, what are some of the things that you tell some of the younger guys around you to coach them up? Obviously, you know, last year's a sophomore starting at quarterback. Uh, you've been through what it takes to play in the NECC on Friday night. So what is the advice and what are you trying to do to get these guys ready for what they're going to be seeing around you? Uh, it's definitely not yelling at them. It's definitely getting onto a level and talking to them about what they're doing. And, yes, you're right, I have been through that younger guy type deal. And they're just as in, in control of their self as I am. When you take a look at uh, you know yourself and Robert, that's a lot of production coming back in the offensive backfield. So how do you guys go about setting the tone for this team, and um, what are the goals for you guys to take it a step further this year? Uh, work harder. Like show them how to work hard, and they'll follow. It's exactly what we need to do. When you take a look at this uh, this NECC Big Division, uh, it feels like pretty wide open this year. Yeah. So how do you go about and and staking your claim to? winning a conference championship, because I know that has to be on the short list of goals for you guys. Oh, of course it's going to be on a short list of goals. Uh, I think it's very achievable. We have lots of athletes, and I think we could kick some butt for sure. I love it. Anything else you'd like to add? Nope. This year, as I notice, becoming a leader, uh, the classes, you know, which we don't really stay to each other like some of the big schools will where they'll – have like the junior class, they're all friends. Senior, or uh, yeah, senior class, they're all friends. Like all of us, we, we see each other as equals pretty much. Like seniority is not really a big thing here. I mean, we got Aiden Lytle, he's started since his freshman year and he's, a, he's gonna be a junior this year. He's got the most experience on the team. And then there's guys, we have some guys who are just gonna, you know, just, just got moved up from JV and they're doing pretty well too. And they're seniors, you know, so. It, it, it's uh, it's an every, any given day thing, uh, but I, I like that. I, I like that anyone can step up and perform well, and you know get a starting job. So that's kind of how we we view it. We don't focus too much on like if you're a senior, freshman, any of that. Tell me about this offense because you mentioned you and Aiden are back in the offensive backfield. That's kind of yep. where things start for you guys. Um, what do you guys do to kind of establish? Uh, the offense and what are going to be some of the keys to making the offense run and, and kind of hit the ground running when you start on August 19th? Um, well, when we practice offense, uh, during practices we'll time up our plays with certain groups and then we'll go together after that and time it all up together. It's about timing. So in the backfield, when we do our reads, when we do our RPOs, stuff like that, we all have to have perfect timing. We all have to be on the same page and that's that's where we excel. You know, we all, we all know what you know what the goal is how the play works and you know what the point of running that play is we we it, you know we, it all corresponds and we're all on the same level when we're all on the same page it always goes well for so. you guys you know at times you guys saw success last season in, in the four wins um, how do you take it a step further this year like what's the key for Garrett to get over that hump and competing for a conference championship scoring I mean we we had an outstanding defense they always showed up I mean the only times that that uh, any, you know, any really any teams would score on us would be big, big broken plays. So I feel like 
we had a pretty consistent defense. It was our offense. We, we, would, we would get the ball down the field, and we would struggle to score. But uh, this year we brought in a new offensive coordinator. Um, I think that we'll, we won't have as much trouble scoring. We have uh, you know, new ways to run our plays you know, when it comes to RPOs, run and passes. And um, so that was, that was the biggest thing. I think last year we, we were contenders, and this year we are as well. And I, I, I must say I'm a little bit more confident now uh, that we'll be, we'll, be, we'll be able to score a little bit better this year. We don't have a ton of guys, which makes it easier for them to be a little more tight-knit. I've seen that. You know, our seniors have done a good job of uh, pulling the rest of them together. And so, um, yeah, they've been pretty tight, uh, very disciplined group so far, too. Uh, some of that's on their own. Some of that has been imposed by our staff. And then, um, you know, they've been very coachable. They're smart. And, uh, yeah, they love football, and that's why they're here. Let's start on the defensive side of the football because, you know, defense wins championships. So what is it about this team defensively that you like and who are some of the guys that are going to need to step into bigger roles for you guys on D? Mm. Yeah, uh, defense is where we have the least returning experience. I think we really only have three returning starters, three or four maybe. And, uh, you know, but we got uh, guys at each level of the defense returning, you know, one or two up front, two at linebacker, and I think one at DB. So that helps at least that we've got experience in all three levels. So there's somebody that can lead those position groups who's been through it before. Um, people we like, uh, our linebackers are, uh, have been pretty good so far from what we've seen. Uh, like I said, two of the three are returning starters and uh, are more athletic, stronger guys than a year ago. So we're counting on them to make a lot of plays. Offensively, you know, you returned your offensive backfield with, uh, you know, Robert Rush for 900 yards last year, mm -hmm. and then Aiden got a lot of experience as a sophomore quarterback. So, um, starting with them, how do they set the tone for what you guys want to accomplish on the offensive side of the football? Yeah, those guys help a ton. You know, uh, Robert would have been a thousand yard rusher. He really missed the majority of two or three games with an injury midseason. And then, uh, you know, our quarterback, Aiden, is, is really one of our big play threats. You know, he's got a big arm. He can make every throw on the field. He's also one of the faster guys on our team, so he can make some plays with his legs. And, uh, you know, Robert is kind of like uh, our plower right up the middle. You know, he's, uh, he's, not, he's not slow, but he's a physical runner, and he understands uh, where the holes are and, and how to set up blocks and make it work. And then I, I think we've got more speed for some uh, playmaking ability at our receiver spots this year. We got a couple guys, Kyle Smith, who's also a linebacker, he runs well. Calder Hefty, Caden Colburn. You know, those are three guys that um, were pretty comfortable getting the ball in their hands too. For you guys, you take a look at the NACC Big Division and it feels pretty wide open. So mm -hmm. how do you guys go about, um, you know, vaulting, vaulting yourself up to championship contender when it comes to the NACC and what's going to be the key? Because as I was talking about the guys, that's got to be one of the, the ultimate goals that you guys have listed as a oh, sure. championship. Yeah, and really, you know, for us, weeks four to eight determine our conference. You know, we really have our conference games in the middle – five of the season so you know we really get it decided pretty quick for us the rest of the teams are spread out a little more with their schedule but I'll tell you uh, you know I, I think whoever picks it one to five could be ex exactly wrong five to one you know I think uh, there's a lot of balance on this half of the conference and uh, probably every team's going to be better than last year as well so it's going to come down to all those things that determine every game you know is how healthy is your team and that was one of our bigger problems last year. We got the wrong guys all hurt just when the conference part of our season was starting. And uh, you know, that put us back. It limited us a little bit. So staying healthy, you know, just the ball bouncing right, the matchups, uh, the weather. I mean, all those things are factors in whether games are won or lost. But hopefully just, you know, the better teams win and, you know, we need to work and be ready.